uh, we are continuing with the, our lesson of our topic of field work in today's lesson. So far, we have covered the two things. We have covered the, uh, the pilot, uh, the, then we have also covered the, the topic. Now, the third thing in the preparation stage is the objectives. Objectives. That is the third thing, objectives. All objectives of objectives of study. The objectives of study are very many, but uh, they should be related to the topic of study. We usually use three to four words when we are stating our objectives. But usually, we emphasize two. That is, we can use the word to find out. Or, if we don't use the word to find out, we can use the word to identify. Preferably, I like using one to find out, find out, because as a student, you may put in other words that may end up causing you a penalty. So uh, the objectives, as I've told you, they should be related to the topic. Let us assume we have a topic, we had our topic that is talking about uh, uh, the growth and development of fishing in the other fish learning site, Lake Calvert in this district, or the relationship between the physical futures and land use activities in the Java fish landing day, site on Lake Albert Bulisa district. So, how do we write our objectives? The first objective, the first objective is usually talking about to, to find out, to find out the location. Of Kutiawa Fish Landing Site. That is our first objective. We cannot have uh, objectives without knowing where we are going. So the first thing is we need to find out uh, the location of Kutiawa Fish Landing Site. To remind you, I'm not only referring to Kutiawa Fish Landing Site. But uh, um, I told you that uh, the objectives should be in line with the topic. They should be in line with the topic. So that is the first objective, to find out the location. Then two, the second objective is uh, to find out the historical background. Find out the historical background of Gutiago Fish Landing, Gutiago Fish Landing site. You can say, to find out the historical background of Hoima Central Market, to find out the historical background of Bugambi Tea Estate, to find out the historical background of Kenya Sugar Works, depending on the, depending on the topic of, depending on the topic of study. So that is. The, the second. These objectives are, are supposed to come in the order in the order. We write them at least the location, historical background. You cannot begin from historical background, then location. That would be a wrong order because the first thing to do to know in field work uh, objectives is where where am I going? Where location of the place. Then the third thing, the third objective, the third objective is to find out fish species.
fish species go to in Butiaba fish landing in sites. The fish species, as we want to, we have said that our field work is going to be carried out a landing site where, where we expect fishing activities to be carried out. Then our major or main objective is to know the fish species caught in a Java fish landing in a Java fish landing site. That is the the third or the third objective of field work. The other uh, objective is uh, to identify to identify the methods of fish preservation. To identify methods of fish preservation. After the fishing fish species have been caught, then how are they preserved? You will only know how they are preserved by going there, by stating it in your objectives. Then you make an inquiry of quality preservation methods are being used. When you reach there, you may see them as we are going to see in the next time, next time, as we are going to see the methods of uh, field work. You may see them by yourself using your naked eyes. You may ask what, is the fish, what are the fish species caught here uh, and, and any other mode of obtaining information. The other objective is to find out the contributions of fishing activities to the people to the people around Java fish landing you have to find out the contributions of fishing activities to the people around Java fish landing site what is that relationship? How is the fishing activities helping the people who are staying in the Java fish landing sites? Still, you should note that we are not uh, we are not only emphasizing the Java, the Java, the Java because me I'm using the Java because that is my topic. That is my topic of study. But I don't know. You may also create your own topic of study. However, you should note that objectives should always be related to the topic you carried out. So after writing as many objectives as possible, of course the objectives are very, very, very many options. The objectives are very, very many. And we well, have so far written like three, four. Uh, the other objective is the problems. Find out or to identify. Find out, you can use identify the problems problems facing fishing in whichever fish landing site. Find out the or identify the problems facing fishing in Java fish landing sites. Of course, when you go to the um, area of study, these are some of the key issues. These are some of the key issues why you are conducting the field work. Why am I going to field work? To know the problems, to identify the problems that these people are suffering or are getting. Then, of course, once you know the problems, the next thing to identify is the solution. Uh, to find out, to identify the 
solution is to the above problems. So you should know that if these people are facing such and such problems, how they have they overcome these problems? What have been their solutions? Of course, you will only note that when you reach the area, when you reach the area, the area of study. After writing all the objectives, you feel you have exhausted them. The last objective that should never be forgotten is to find how to the future prospect. Future prospects of Butiaba fish landing to find out the future prospects of Butiaba fish landing landing site. This summarizes, puts an, an end to all the rest of the objectives. After problems, solutions, uh, you have identified the contributions, you have identified the, uh, the importance, you have identified factors for the growth of fishing activities in the fish learning site, then you write your last one as the final to the uh, future prospects of the fish learning site. So when you are listing this I mean these objectives in a question, where you have been given a question, uh, you need to write as a literal as a five. At least a minimum of five objectives. No matter how many marks the question is taking. Whether it is taking the two, whether it is taking one mark, a smallest requirement of objective should be five objectives and above. Write them very fast, be precise. Knowing that as you are answering any question, you know that you are chasing the time because the standard time for each question is estimated to be two, I mean, it's estimated to be 45 minutes. So you should plan yourself, write quickly, write precisely, and write very, very well. So those are objectives, they should be, as we have said, they should be related to the Topic. So, so far there are three things that we have covered uh, already. We have covered the, uh, we have covered the, uh, the topic, pilots, pilots. We have covered so far pilots. We have covered the topic. Then we have covered the objectives we are still in the preparation we are still preparing for our field work the last thing of course is the methods that is the last thing we do once we have finished the, uh, getting the appropriate methods of data collection then we are ready to go for here you are. Clear? Yeah. So, how many methods do we have in field work? There are very many methods of data collection. We are going to use very many methods of data collection. These methods will depend, depend on where field work has been carried out the costs involved and the where the costs involved and when, for who, who has conducted the field work. There are very many methods. First of all, we list them down. The first method of data collection is called the observation. Observation method. That is the first method of data collection. The second method is called the interview. Interview method. The interview method of data collection. Then from interview, 
we can go to questionnaire method. Questionnaire method. From questionnaire, we have sampling. We have map orientation. We have recording. Recording method. And very many other methods as we are going to, to see. So uh, anybody who knows what observation method is? Observation method? 